Hi guys, it's Shani from Yanomize and welcome back to TOA This Week at Yanomize, episode 30. Yes, can you believe we actually shot 30 of these episodes? Right, before we have a walk around, here's a quick catch up. Alright, so I'll just see you messing around with the arches. What was you doing there? Naomi's just asked me, um, obviously he's going to wrap this wing in the setting dark grey. Um, and we can't have any of this green showing once the car's fitted back up. So she wanted to know where she needed to end it, whether you can see any of the green through the bonnet shut um, once it's down and the arch is on. So what we've done was we just offered this arch up to where it would sit. We closed the bonnet down and just made sure that you couldn't see in through the, the bonnet gaps. Because the idea when we're wrapping a car, if it comes in in green and it's going out grey, we don't want no green showing. In this case, you can't see anything, so we're just going to um, bring it down here and then obviously the rest of it's all covered up with this. Alright, so Andrew, the car's just been finished. Uh, what sort of checks do we do on the car? From the moment the car gets to us uh, to the moment it leaves, uh, there is a series of like QC checks, so quality control checks, uh, whether that's kind of myself but, or Terry. When the vinyl goes on fresh, um, you always get a period of settling. Um, so we just try and combat that at every opportunity we can. South checks his work and then we check the work again. So you checked over the BMW, is everything good on it? Yeah, all good. Do the wheels, isn't it, yourself? Yeah, yeah, give them a whilst over. Look at his face. <laughs> Big thing here is making sure, especially for Jan, is that glass and wheels are clean. So if a car goes out and glass and wheels aren't clean, someone's getting. I'll leave, I'll leave that one to you. Yeah, yeah, look cool. I'm gonna flex on them. Look casual. Do a couple of press ups or something. It's natural. Natural. There's natural angles. Natural angles. Natural. Natural. Okay, what are we doing though? Because Gus is scrolling. Scrolling for Instagram like a jealous ex girlfriend. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am going back in time. So, Yan is gonna do a video. Oh, we're about to shoot a video, mm -hmm. which is how Yan and I started. And I important part of the story is the Instagram and the YouTube. Mm. And what I'm doing at the moment is scrolling through Instagram uh, to get to the first post, bearing in mind that there are 11,000 plus. And this is the second time that I've tried to do this now. Last time I got to somewhere in 2018. So I really want to get that first post. But at the moment, this is giving me grief. Just go, I've got to redo it. I've got to do it. Oh, hey, I've been locked out. Hey. Great. Hey. Wow. Well, that probably explains yeah. it on the phone as well. Oh, on the phone as well. Of course. Well, the account is on both, to be fair. I know how it's cussing it already. Now I have to change my password. Oh, God. Alright, Chris, working on the Defender. What are you doing here? What's going on? Uh, so what we're doing is uh, we're bleeding up brakes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually using a pressurised sucker. Mm -hmm. I always still like to go for a manual bleed after. I'm old school, still like to do it. If someone's sitting in the car, but this just pulls out the majority. It just gets any air that's in the ABS system out. Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to wrap a bonnet. Okay, so on the Porsche Cayman GTS, it's been washed in the wash bay, it's come in, got stripped, we've clay barred it. Now I'm just going to Avery clean, make sure the panel's clean, underneath's clean, and then we can start laying. So it's important that we clean all the area so no dust gets underneath it. So the reason we use this is to stop any dust, mud, any dirt that we haven't been able to get that's deep inside the car stop it from coming up and attaching to the back of the vinyl while we're laying. Anytime we're applying vinyl onto the bonnet, we always work to the shape of the panel. So because of the bonnet, that's more of a vertical shape on a push. So when we're applying it, we're more going to vertical motion up and down rather than do side and side. Next process then, you want to open your bonnet and then start to slowly work your vinyl around the edges with your 
fingers with a bit of heat. No rush, just patiently. You finish it right on your first line and edges and inside and then that's it. Make sure you go around every single edge, every single inch, heat it, post heat it, so you know it won't lift again. And what temperature? Normally every vinyl will have its own different temperature but average temperature is normally around 92, 95 for most vinyl but like I say, every vinyl is slightly different. Right, so Gus has finally got down to the bottom. Got to the bottom. Two years later. Exactly. More like 11.4 thousand <laughs> pictures later. later. <laughs> we reached the very first post, which was obviously the end. Wow. First thing. Still getting used to Instagram and Twitter. Did that work on both? Yeah, there's some gems on here. Um, I mean, long before I started. This picture was taken in August 2012. I was in sixth form, them times. Yeah, I was. I don't know, it's too far back to remember, I'm old. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have the time, by all means, definitely scroll through the Instagram and just look at some of it. The, there's some great moments in there. Drop a comment on the picture saying Gus sent me. <laughs> yeah, I've managed to get what I need, but I'm gonna leave this open for as many days as possible because I really do not want to have to scroll through this again. So the G-Wagon's almost complete. Um, what did we have to do to fix it? Yeah. Oh, you're asking me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, bro. Come on. All right. Yeah, so as you know, we this came in and this was completely smashed off. It actually hit the glass, smashed the glass. It ripped all the metal outwards. So when the new mirror turned up, it still wouldn't fit on. It had like a big gap around it. So um, we managed to tap it all back in where it should be. Uh, offered the mirror up, made sure that there was no gap around uh, where it meets the door, so no water was going to get inside. Um, we had to send this cap off to get painted because uh, they come in primer. We then, um, Naomi's laid this red stripe to match the other side. Um, we had to have the glass tinted once it was fitted because it's got a very, very slight tint to it. It still actually is waiting for the camera which fits under here and the puddle light which shines the little Mercedes badge on the floor. And then this is finished and it can go back to the customer. Cool. Come on camera, pick it up, there we go. Right guys, I'm gonna collect these keys, the Defender, just to show you this real quick. I don't know if you remember last week saying to Yan that the calipers were going pink based on the customer's nail varnish. And these is the final product. So you've got this done, sticker at the back, and here as well. Now I do believe the nail varnish. Come on, mate. And just to show you guys, this is the um, nail varnish that the customer used as a reference for the color she wanted. And it came out pretty close. So, Naomi, last week I had you on T Way and I asked you about the Mercedes. You were telling me how easy it is because the panels are flat. What are you working on today? So today I'm on the Mini Cooper. We can't do this in one piece because of the deep corners. So this will be done in two pieces, but we will make it look like it's not done in two pieces so you won't see any joints. Compared to some of the panels you see on Mercedes, parts like this are a lot more complicated to wrap. And what is lifting for people who don't know? It usually occurs when you've stretched something. If you haven't done it correctly or you haven't heated it or for whatever reason, over time it would come back, shrink, and have a huge bubble, which we don't want. Me and Teb have now completed this. We're happy with how it looks. Um, I don't think you can tell that it's done in two pieces. This one can actually be done in one piece because the vinyl will sit nicely in here without any stretching or anything. So yeah, let's get on with it. Rio is now fitting it back up. Tell me what's the process, bro? I'm um, so literally at the moment, I'm starting from the back and working forward. So I've already put the bumper on, uh, put the back lights in. So I'm just gonna finish up with boot lid and then literally I'm gonna move on to the doors. Anything complicated on these Mini Coopers when it comes to fitting it back up or is it pretty standard? Pretty standard, man. These are probably one of the easier cars to strip. I mean, the time now is 9.49, so by, oh. 11, 12 liters, it'll be finished. It'll be finished, it'll be finished. I won't even lie to you, it's Monday morning. As you can see, the car's finished now, it's complete. I know I said I'll get it done on Friday, but due to some complications, that couldn't happen. But yeah, it's all sorted, so. 
get it out of here. But courtesy car, company car, loaner from BMW Park Lane is still here and it's still dirty. I'm embarrassed to say both the V-Classes are still here. Derek Chisora rings me every day. I think he's gonna punch my face in because we still haven't finished it. I have been told by a good source, Pav, who works for me, that this will be finished on Wednesday. And this one will be finished by the end of the week. So if they're here next week, we can blame Pav. Mini Cooper S has just been completed in satin dark gray. It's actually not Andrew's customer, it's my customer. How cool does that look? Customer went for an outside only and also had two gloss black stripes on the front. It was like a khaki green color, look at that. But the customer said, I don't drive my doors open. And it's true, she doesn't. So there you go, satin dark gray, nice. My Urus is behind you in khaki green. It's still here. Wrap's coming off. Not at the moment, but it is coming off and the car is not for sale. No, she's not for sale. Love that car so much, love that car so much. So as we walk into the nice, warm, clean unit, we have a satin black Porsche. Satin black, it always works. It's got gloss red running all the way around the bottom of the car to match the calipers and also the interior. What do you think about the interior? Black and red always works. Or is black and yellow better? Black and red, black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, that was Mark, by the way. Um, so this is real cool. This was actually like a crayon, um, which I had this color before, so I'm surprised they changed the color, but people get bored and it's only a wrap and it can be taken off afterwards. And what's weird is you've got this color here and if you flick across, this car's going from gray to chalk gray, uh, which is a nose tech color, looks like paintwork. And he's back, Sammy Dehan. You would have seen him catch up. We've done his Raptor. Raptor. He's literally picked one up and then dropped another one off. So this is car two for him and we're still in January. Sammy going for the customer of the year 2021. Um, can, he, can he hold the title? Can he win it again? We'll see. Obama Yang's had one in already and he's got another one coming. So it could be an over Sammy Dehan competition. Who's got more money? Now that's an interesting one. Anyway, Aurus, we love an Aurus. It does need the Nero kit, let's be honest, but Sammy doesn't keep his cars more than two weeks. You think I have to sell my cars quick. He sells them a lot quicker than I do. Uh, you've got young Rio at the back, stripping the car down. Rio was originally a junior. He now strips and fits cars. He's like the, the new Pav. Never. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, he's never not the new Pav. If he starts doing electrics and ghost immobilizing trackers and sound system, then he can be the new Pav. For now, he's like, He's like, he's like, he's like the new Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike used to work, he doesn't work here no more. That's probably a put down on Rio. No offense, Mike. Obviously you got young Kieran on this side getting the double sided off the rear arch uh, for Mark to get it wrapped. Nico's around here somewhere. Oh, there he is, he's in the corner. Hi, Nico. Behind me, we have a customer called Nick. His Nero um, Lamborghini Huracan. This originally came when we put the Nero kit on it, the rear spoiler on the sides, dropped his phone, five points. Uh, we wrapped the roof in gloss black and the side skirts, and as I said, fitted the Nero kit. It's now back for a wrap. It's going chrome, but what chrome? Red, blue, green, white, silver. Is there a white chrome? Probably not. Um, but yeah, this is cool. This is a cool car. This is gonna be a great, great chrome color. Pub over there, playing around with the bumper that belongs to, I would say, the Porsche. Yeah. Yeah, you fitting it back up? That's the one, baby. That's the one, baby. Um, but that is what's going on in here, and it's nice and warm. Hi, Sal. Oh, so look what we have here. You know what? Let me just quickly go back. What color is the car? Probably black. Probably black. Yeah, yeah probably black. That, that's, that's how he came to that assumption. I bet Bert will know. Bert, what color is the G-Wagon coming in for the PPF? The one that's coming in is white. White. Probably black. White. Probably white. Probably black. Probably black. So, what colour kind of G-Wagon is coming in? Probably a black one. Bert will definitely know. But what colour kind of G-Wagon is coming in? Probably a white one. That's not black or white. That's silver. So I think they both need their eyes tested or their memory. Anyway, so we've got a silver G-Wagon in here. This is having full PPF coverage, paint protection film to protect the lovely paintwork. Uh, Salvatore is over there. Hi, Sal. Oh, yeah. How are we? I know you had a day off on Friday. Nice long weekend. Yeah. How was it? Yeah, it's good. Why did you take a day off? Ordered some furniture from Oak Furniture Land. He's plugging them. They got, they got, they got a plug. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know who they are, but you lot are very lucky to get a plug on T-Way. 
Um, why wasn't the wife home? Why did you have to stay home? Um, because it's very heavy and she can't carry it in on her own. That is valid, but then if they're delivering it, why wouldn't they carry it? Uh, that's, that costs extra. That costs extra. Saving those peas. Okay. Anyway, so this is here and looks like you've got some of the furniture here as well. What is this, Sal? Oh, that's a screen. I think that's for my house. Yeah, that's for my house. <laughs> um, Sal, see ya, mate. See ya. Still got no friends. So, in the unit, we have Terry on his phone. We have a Defender in satin black. This car, I think, just needs, uh, I think it just needs arches and the roof, which is over there. We have this Merc that's just come in. This colour, I can't reveal at the moment. Um, it belongs to Ace of Sports and they're doing something real cool. And yeah, I can't really tell you any more about this, but yeah, check them out. Something cool's coming. It knows a tech purple on this Porsche Cayman. This car was blue, as you can see. Going to purple. Um, you might have seen in catch up, uh, Naomi and Tev did like a, a tutorial how to wrap the bonnet. Did we like that? Do we want more tutorials? Do you want more advice and help on how to wrap? Or do you not care? Let me know. Tev, should they care? They should care. Oh, it's good. They should care. He's nice. He's a nice guy. He's a nice fella. Um, you've got Aim on this side getting the Merc clean and ready. Chris is stripping it. Terry's checking it, I assume. Ah, oh, also, this car, the wheels. We've taken the original wheels off, which you're about to see on the screen right now. And he's bought these wheels. So we're going to put these wheels on it. So these wheels are obviously a lot nicer. He had originally 18 inch wheels. Now we've got 19 inch wheels. Um, so the customer's going to do like a full transformation on this vehicle. It's going to be nice. It's very nice. Let's head over to the McLaren. So the Chrome Pick McLaren is finally complete. A lot of people saw last week's video where they were like, that's the one that was crashed. No, it's not. It's the same owner and it is the same car, but not the same car. It's fitted up. I think it just needs full check over, full clean and the customer can finally pick it up. So in the back, we have the other Defender that is wrapped in satin black. The van, the Range Rover that is complete, that is staying here while they're on holiday, waiting for them to come back. Uh, Stephen Burkwine's G-Wagon, he's collecting that today, finally. Nothing else going on back here, but that is this week's t -Way. It's a nice long one, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, we'll keep bringing you more videos. And don't forget to check out my personal channel, Yanni, which is right here. And I've got a video coming on how Yanomize came about the start to the finish. But there's no finish in sight. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care.